This is a Neumann KM184 microphone, one of the industry standards when it comes to recording acoustic guitars and other acoustic instruments. And this, this is my iPhone. This thing has been around since the 1960s. It's been used on countless recordings and it's designed specifically for capturing things like acoustic instruments. One of these will run you about a thousand dollars and then this, well, this is a phone. This was not designed to record acoustic instruments. This was designed to make phone calls and to capture videos and whatever else it does. So there's no way that this should come even close to this microphone, right? Let's find out. So what led me to want to make this video was a couple of weeks ago, my buddy Brent, who's a producer, hired me to play on a song and he asked me, he said, hey, when you're done, can you just record yourself on your iPhone as well and send that along with the other tracks? And I thought like, okay, sure, but you know I have like really good microphones and a good interface with preamps and all that stuff, right? That really got me thinking, maybe this could be good enough. Maybe this is at a point where it's almost as good as this. And could we be using this to record different sound sources at home instead of fancy gear like this? Got everything fired up in the DAW. It's already been recorded. And we're gonna go through, I've got four acoustic guitar parts. I've got some dyads, some arpeggios, a high strung guitar and some chords. Uh, one with each microphone, the KM184 and the phone. And let's just take a listen to what they sound like raw. Okay, so this is what I came up with first when I was playing around. I got this sound here. Okay, so that's microphone one. Same thing, microphone two. So I had, I had someone mess these up, so I don't know which microphone is which, and I actually think they both sound pretty good. I'm gonna put headphones on. Even though I'm listening on my studio monitors, I wanna just hear it a little bit better. Okay, so same thing, first one. Let's pan, put it in the middle. Second one. Okay. So the big difference that I'm hearing, if I go to that first one again, to me, I'm hearing a little less of the room. to this one. So I'm actually hearing a little bit more of like my moving around there. I'm hearing a little bit more of the room and it sounds just like a little bit. It sounds a little harsher in the mid range. If I go back to this one. To me, that one sounds just a little bit warmer. Um, yeah, but really. Yeah, that's that's definitely harsher in the mid-range. But it doesn't sound terrible. I would definitely have to guess that the first one, the one up top there was the, uh, the KM184 and that's the phone. Was I right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, some of the different parts then. Let's take a listen to the arpeggios and let's hear the difference here. Okay, so that was the first one. Let's hear the second one. Louder. Yeah, 
same thing. So, you know, the, the second one I can pretty much guarantee you is the phone. It's definitely a little bit harsher in the mids. Um, and I feel like for whatever reason, we're getting a little bit better noise rejection um, with the KM184. Now, I actually don't know how the iPhone microphone works. If there's two of them, um, if it's picking, it's I'm guessing it's trying to pick up a really, really wide spread, whereas the small diaphragm condenser is quite directional. Um, so I would guess that's why we're getting better rejection. And it just, the, the small diaphragm definitely sounds sweeter, but... <laughs> I mean, that doesn't sound bad. Let's see, what if we were to do, okay, so we know for sure that we got, that's the KM184. What if I put both parts on together, what do we get? And then what if we do the same thing here? I mean, it's a phone. That sounds really, really good. Um, we got two more parts. Let's hear them. So the high strung, let's start down here for a second. So this is my high strung part. Let's see what's going on here. If I bring the other one in. Back to this one. Yeah, there's definitely that like, like mid rangey thing in the phone, but really. Yeah, I'm still really impressed. Uh, chords. Let's see. Okay, here's the chords on what I assume is the microphone. Okay, here's the next one. Now, so the, another thing you'll notice if you look at the tracks here, you'll notice, look at how squared off this wave is here. So um, the phone, I didn't have any control over any gain on it. I'm sure there's a way that you could possibly control that with some kind of a third party app. I literally just set it up, voice memos recorded, dragged it in here, dropped it in and matched it with where the microphone was and that was it. So I haven't done any processing. Like I said, you're hearing literally just the raw phone or just the raw microphone, no compression, no EQ, no, no anything. Now, what I want to do, what I think is going to be really cool. I'm going to take a little bit of time and I'm going to do a rough mix of each of these. Now, I'm not a mix engineer. I'm not good at mixing, which is great. I'm kind of like the everyday person when it comes to mixing. I understand a bit about how compression works. I understand how reverb works. And it's probably all I'm going to do. A little bit of that, a little bit of EQ. I'm going to get each of those to sound as good as I possibly can in about 10 minutes a piece. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on them. And then what I'm going to do is I want to do a blind test. I want to see what you guys think. Can you tell me when I mix it all together, which one's the phone, which one's the KM184, and is it that much better?
What'd you guys think? Source A, was that the mic or was that the phone? Source B, microphone. Pretty nuts, right? I actually think they both sounded pretty good. They definitely sounded a little bit different. I applied about the same kind of processing to them. Uh, obviously, I EQ'd them a little bit differently because they both sounded different going in. Okay, I'll let you guys know. Source A was the microphone. And source B, obviously, was the phone. To my ears, the microphone did sound warmer. There were more frequencies happening there. It just sounded better. Um, but really, considering the phone is a phone, I think it sounded really good. There's definitely more work if you want to record with your phone because you have to take the tracks, send them to your computer, and then line them up with each other. But you can still do it. I think this really just goes to prove that the barrier to entry for creating really, really high quality music is low. I've said it before in other videos and I'm gonna say it again, we are living in the golden era when it comes to creating music. We have access to so many options for music gear of all kinds at the lowest prices we've ever seen while they're still actually really good quality. I think this is just another example proving that now is the time to create. Don't put it off until you can buy the fancy microphone. Don't wait until you can get the interface. If you have ideas, if you want to create music, start now use your phone if you have something a little bit better than that maybe you have a cheaper microphone and cheaper interface use that and start now i'm just urging you guys don't wait because if you do that you're going to get in the habit of always waiting you're never going to have what you want to create and the whole point of playing music is to play music not to buy stuff so until next time guys thank you so so much for watching i truly appreciate your time and attention in such a noisy world and get out there and create music with whatever you've got